First at five, a local family returns home to find police shot and killed their dog. It happened inside their Round Rock house just this morning. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis spoke with family members who are grieving the loss of their beloved pet. This Round Rock family is coming to grips with the fact that they'll never see their dog bullet again. It happened this morning, but within the last couple of hours, the family saw their dog for the last time. We were there as they said goodbye. They put that hot metal in, in my dog. <laughs> The 120-pound Rottweiler was the only one home when their alarm went off. When officers arrived to the house to investigate, they say they called out several times, announcing they were coming in. When no one responded, they entered the home and encountered the animal. Officers say the dog was aggressive, barking and growling before lunging. An officer fired the first shot and the other fired six more. The owner walked us through the house and showed us how it played out. They shot seven times, hitting them five times. But ironically, if they shot him here, you got two bullet holes. There's two bullet holes down at the bottom of the baseboard. Round Rock police officials declined an on-camera interview. They say officers are trained to shoot and defend themselves to stop the threat. Now the family says they just don't want this to happen to anyone else. In Round Rock, Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. This is the second time this month Round Rock police have shot and killed a dog. On May the 3rd, officers say a pit bull escaped out of an open window and started toward officers. Police tried to keep that dog away with a lawn chair, but when that didn't work, an officer shot and killed the dog.